So let's look at the following example that will deal with lens maker's equation. So let's suppose a prescription for a corrective lens is positive 4. The lens maker uses a glass with an index of refraction of 1.54. If the radius of curvature of the front surface of the lens is 32 centimeters, what must the radius of curvature be of the other surface? So let's begin by recalling the relationship between the focal length and the power of our lens. So the power is equal to 1 divided by the focal length. So because the power is positive, that implies that the focal length is also positive. And that means we're dealing with a convex lens. So this is our double convex lens. So let's suppose point C1 is the center of curvature of the front surface of our lens. And point C2 is the center of curvature of the back surface of our lens. Now distance R1 is the radius of curvature of the front surface and that is given to be 32 centimeters. What we're looking for is R2. So we want to find the radius of curvature for the back surface of our lens. And we also know the focal length because we know the power. Now let's apply lens maker's equation. So 1 divided by the focal length is equal to n minus 1 multiplied by 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2. Now 1 divided by the focal length is replaced by power. So power is equal to n minus 1 multiplied by 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2. So let's rearrange our equation and let's bring all the known values to the left side and leave the unknown on the right side. So we bring this over as well as 1 divided by r1. So the power divided by n minus 1 minus 1 divided by r1 gives us 1 divided by r2. So let's actually plug in our values. So 1 divided by r2 is equal to our power is positive 4. Now n minus 1 is 1 1.54 minus 1 minus 1 divided by. Now since the power is given in diopters and diopters are related to meters, we must give this quantity in meters. So let's take this and divide it by 100. So 1 divided by 0 0.32 meters. So we plug these values into our calculator and we see that 1 divided by R2 is equal to 4.28. Now, if we actually solve for R2, we see that R2 is equal to about 0 0.234 meters, or equivalently, if we multiply by 100, we get 23.4 centimeters. So, the radius of curvature of the back surface of our double convex lens is equal to positive 23.4. Remember, the radius of curvature is always positive for convex lenses and always negative for concave lenses.